All right, so the, I really like this uh, beginning of the decade, end of the decade thing. I saw Drake's, I saw Rihanna's, I saw uh, some fan made one with Future when his rap name wasn't Future at the beginning of the decade, and he mm. looked real dusty. And, yeah. and then they put a new one, and boy, Future. What is Rico? We, we know the bag that Future has. Um, I, I, it's inspiring to me. I, I don't not to be the mushy guy. I hate to come in here and, and do that, but I really enjoy those. I do too. I'm trying to find some trash shit of me from old. <laughs> <laughs> it should, it shouldn't be that fits, hard. Uh... Yeah, there's a whole page dedicated to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you actually, we you should have had the easiest one. one. We could have done last year. <laughs> I can't let y'all kill my guy like that. You should have the easiest one. <laughs> you can't say, I can't let y'all kill my guy and repeat it. No. It's just funny, though. It's just like, yo, come on, man. Oh, stop them from killing me. All right, my bad. <laughs> Jesus, <Help>. my bad. <laughs> Help. All right, go ahead, Rory. Take it away. Fuck y'all. What am I taking away? I'm shutting up now. This is, this is, oh, I forgot to tell the fans. This episode, no, shit goes a long way. Yeah. A lot of people have told me to watch it. No, it's um, dope. You'll like it. It's dope. But is this a comedy drama? It's no, it's it's suspense. It has funny moments, but so it's, it's not a, a dramedy. comedy. It's a dramedy. It's a dramedy. Yeah, comedy. it's like it's like drama. It's yeah, like it's gonna make it's some like, words uh, up, boy. <laughs> a drama. That's gonna be DJ Drama's yeah, next album. Dramedy. <laughs> DJ Drama. I'm trying to put DJ you onto a dope show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm dramedy. I'm dramedy. Okay, go ahead, man. Go ahead. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, no, check I'm it out though. You should watch it. You would like it. I think you like. You would cry because you're you're a cry. I love to cry. You're a cry. Crying. You're a crier, Todd. Joe's a crier. You'll cry because you're a crier. Hipster tears. Hipster tears. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I mean, you are a crier. Hipster tears. Joe's a crier. Joe, I can see you being a crier. He's a crier. There's videos of Joe crying. He's a crier. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He's a crier. Mad videos of Joe crying, actually. Let me YouTube compilations. Nigga, Joe just start crying like it's going to be nice tomorrow. Everyone relax. I'm going to call you. Everyone simmer down here. Now you got to get tough. That ain't, yeah. Fuck out of here. Where's my gunshots at while I'm crying? Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> I didn't know if I wanted to just let the world know I'd be crying about shit. The world shit. has seen you cry. Yeah, what all, are you it's, talking it's about? Everywhere. What? You love crying on TV. Yeah, that's a fact. No, I cry way more now. <laughs> oh. Even worse. I, I cry. I saw Joe post a video of him crying. Listen, this is when I knew you was crazy. Wait, what? Yes. What do you yes. What do you have to cry about? What are you crying about? You have to start coming to our free podcast. This is what you think <laughs> you was mean? crazy. Right? No, seriously. I got to stop hearing these stories like, on the fly. Like Joe, started, <laughs> Joe was watching, and I love Prince just like Joe does. Like, no, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I love, no, you do not Everybody love Prince know, like me. Did you cry? Who knows Wait, you? When Prince died? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, so crazy maybe you do. Everybody. Did you cry a video me. for the people? What? Did you That's cry it. in a video? No, no, no. People? Joe posted a video. He was home watching like a tribute to Prince. Yeah. And he was record. I think first of all, any nigga that records themselves crying with their phone <laughs> is a fucking lunatic. Number yeah. one. That's true. I also think Joe's okay. a lunatic. Absolutely. <laughs> so he posted the video and said, "I miss Prince allergies." With a crying emoji face. I said, this nigga is really crazier than I thought he that's was. That's pretty awesome, though. That's pretty dope. What? That's pretty <laughs> crazy. This it's nigga, not crazy. This I don't nigga think done, that's crazy. This nigga done wait. did B&Es. He did all types of things. I don't think that's crazy, though. So that's... Wait. See, that's my problem with Maul. Because everything Joe does is crazy. But Drake can wait till a girl goes in the bathroom crazy. and go in her purse and take her phone and hide it. And you rationalize that. And I can't cry? No, I'm not, no, 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 I'm not saying you can't cry. And it's, with the crying emoji? It's when and how you cry. I cry all the time now. That's crazy <laughs> to me. What are you crying for? Because I'm in touch with how people should feel. Oh, my God. I'm not in touch with my feelings. <laughs> no, you are. If you're crying, you're in touch. No, Something is touching that's your feelings. So were you in touch with but Prince's feelings I, when you were But every crying? time I cry, I'm not crying because of me. I'm crying because the show and how the, they should feel. And it's tapping and you. It's somewhere it's, in you. It's tapping it's into your an emotion. Feelings, bro. That's what crying just, is. You're not crying. When you see tears. something on TV and you start crying, it's because it's hitting an emotion in you that you can identify with. No. Thank you, Dr. fucking Rashad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Wait. What's this nigga doing, man? This is over. You know, too many times we we have lost somebody in hip hop, and we it's never get any. Gun. We never get closure. Yeah. So so the fact that you know I want to commend Lisa Evers. I want to commend everybody who really stuck with this case when it could have easily been forgotten about because that's what they like to do to us young successful black people. Yeah, ever since I talked to Puff, I'm just been sounding like Black Excellence, <laughs> my nigga. <niggas. laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm feeling like Black Excellence. Y'all. You know what I think it was? I, I think I think it was that IG story that you did when you was like. I'm awake. I have the same 24 hours that you. Just one meeting done next to the next one. Yo, let's go. 
I think maybe he saw that and then realized that maybe you was of the cloth of the of the Ciroc boys. I have never said. What if you get to Miami and Puff just wants you to be a Ciroc boy? It's lit. Which Ciroc? <laughs> Which Ciroc? That's important, bro. That is Ciroc, French vanilla Ciroc, Ciroc melon. I'm not gonna get in every picture with French and Puff. Nah, he's gonna, <laughs> he gonna, he gonna make you your own Newport flavor yeah, Ciroc. <laughs> menthol Ciroc. Menthol Ciroc. for when you can't get a smoke and life's a joke. When, when you're <laughs> when you're in the complex office and they won't let you smoke in the bathroom, <laughs> you can take a sip of menthol Ciroc. Menthol Ciroc. When you're in complex. But it's pretty complex. <laughs> Have you some menthol, Ciroc? <laughs> Every day should be a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Drink menthol, Ciroc. Wait. No. <laughs> Every day shouldn't be a struggle. <laughs> Yo, you should write Yo. jingles. I should write jingles. Yeah, Yo, you should be like a cool seen, jingle guy. Have you seen the Ciroc commercials when they all in tuxedos in Vegas going to all the cool spots with all the bad bitches? It's going to be Joe and a bunch of people in Ciroc going to fucking Dunkin' Donuts Getting coffee, pouring it into their <laughs> coffee flavor Ciroc might be lit. It's gonna be me and the owner Melody <laughs> dancing in Melody <laughs> hookah flavored yeah. Ciroc. Oh my god! Ugh. Hold up now, that might be no. yo. Now Rory better than everybody. Oh, many a nights uh, Rory was saying pass the hookah. We was just no, smoking no, no. hookah yeah, still, last whoa, whoa, week. Whoa, whoa, exactly. Whoa. Look at this nigga whoa, now. You whoa. hear him? I still smoke hookah. I'm not drinking hookah flavored Ciroc. How do you know? Because I know I don't drink Ciroc. Period. Hey, I thought I wasn't getting fired. There you go. <laughs> Listen, me, bro. Me hey, one day is safe for you. Next day, you never know, my G. Um, so yeah, they caught Chinks as murderers. I'm really happy about that. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You fuck with you. Joe Biden. Does Joe want that old thing back? Mm-hmm. And if so, which one? What am I listening to? What's happening right now? The new Love and Hip Hop drop. That? Who did that? <laughs> me and Parks. Does Joe want that old thing back? And if so, which one? <laughs> How many old things you got? I thought you was in L.A., Rory. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing with your time over Pre-prop. here? That's what you missed. Pre-production. <laughs> yeah, you want, me, me and Parks is here for pre-production. They were bored. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about the high five that shook the nation. Yes. The high come five on. heard around come, the world. High come five on. hive. <laughs> what, what's the, what, come on, Mo. One of y'all have to leave this. One of y'all oh, have to leave this. Man, Look, don't I, sigh, you know, I don't, don't, I don't sigh. I don't, but don't, I don't sigh. Be on, I don't do the social media. And don't media. start with I don't do You don't do the social media. Don't start <laughs> like that, right? So you didn't, you didn't I, take to your socials? You're, you're, yeah, so whenever I do open the social media. You're on your medias, socials every day. Whenever I do open the social media. I see the likes. Every day. I see your likes. See whenever of, I do. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't post anything. And ever I, I got a bunch of like shit going on, I'm like, all right, what happened? So then of course. happened? I see yo, get your man. Your man's just wilding. Yo, it's about to be lit. Yo, is everything good? All right, what's going on? And I click on one of the videos, man, and I just see, you know, the dad hat just floating around. <laughs> <laughs> Every room. Every oh. room! I just see the dad hat. Now there's some oh fedoras floating around, too. Yeah, it was yeah, some turtlenecks in it. Don't do that. Turtlenecks <laughs> and leathers. It was just a lot. Did he have the pointy shoes this time? Nah, he had a lot of sneakers. Oh, okay. You know, I'm happy the sneakers are back. Yeah, that's good. But it's just, you know, I just I just had to turn the volume up and see what my mans was doing. <laughs> and lo and behold, this nigga's Don't lo and again. behold. I no, wasn't it's low and beholding. And it's beholding. I wasn't low and beholding anything. You were low and beholding, you were low and beholding for sure. And you just got a lot of shit going on, man. And you high fiving your exes. Like <laughs> oh, it was such a nasty high five. Because you know what's five. crazy? You know she didn't even say nothing funny either. Nah, like he was showing wild <laughs> Yeah, he was laughing That's mad. That's misogynistic, Yeah, Rory. like it's like, yo, no, you high fiving your ex girlfriend? So they put out this fucking, they snuck out this little teaser for Love and Hip Hop. They didn't sneak it out. Yeah, you knew. It you recorded that. Yeah. You knew. I, yeah, you had, signed a release I form. had zero idea that this was coming okay. as I was at the Roof Chris Bar. <laughs> And they dropped this teaser, and lo and behold. <laughs> Boy, were we teased. Another lo and behold. Oh, uh, look at that high five. <laughs> look at the position of power. No, Sin, Sin was I know. stalking Here's above the thing. you. I don't like the way you and Sin argue. You're sitting Indian style on a fountain. She's perched up like a gargoyle on top of a control board in the studio. Yo, not for nothing. Like, Joe is below just... from the kneel. to the fountain to the studio. Joe is always sitting yeah. below the woman. Yeah, you're getting down there and all this shit. That's cause Body language. That's because they're just always just, you know, on top of him. They're on top <laughs> of your bullshit, a... Joe. 
Oh, you had the high, you had the handout for the high five. She like they, you kind of they connected a little bit too. It was like a little. You put it out there. You was like yeah. this. I cannot wait to I cannot wait to hear what they was laughing at. I'm gonna tell by exactly what they was laughing at. If the high five was warranted right there, it, you know it wasn't though. It wasn't. It was some simple <laughs> no, shit. Like yo, remember the pizza shop? <laughs> it's like wait 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 wait. <laughs> it's like wait 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 wait. The pizza shop don't get the laugh like that. Pepperoni. Yeah yeah no no no. We not doing that. <laughs> yo no. Yo, y'all are fucking stupid. We're not doing and y'all that. are ignorant. You can't laugh at what's not funny. Uh, the audience, I came in here today and unbeknownst. <laughs> unbeknownst. Uh, no, un- you was benounced. Nah, I wasn't benounced. <laughs> was benounced. Nah, this whole season I wasn't benounced. Yeah, no, you've been benounced. Oh, no, that, that is definitely <laughs> appears on this screen. You've been benounced. You've been benounced. <laughs> unbeknownst to me, all of the fellas, park, all of the fellas being Parks, Rory, and Maul. Yeah. Just started calling me nasty <laughs> yeah. out of the clear blue sky. Now, I may be nasty, but I don't feel like I should be getting heat for this. You oh, shit goes a long way. <laughs> <laughs> like she thinks she's killing shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rory. I've never had that. No, 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 no. I've never experienced no, nothing like that Rory, in my life. No. no. <laughs> Y'all need help. That's why you just got to say it. You just got to say it now. It's hard. Yeah. When it's, when you're no, it's moment. not. Well, it's not. No. Now I was, I was about issue. to get soft. Bro, that was the problem. Say it. That's how I know I'm like the sixth man off the bench in the Eskimo Brothers squad. Like, Because you don't say it? No, because I know I ain't doing whatever you niggas is doing. <laughs> <laughs> you got to just say Every it, Every fucking Trey Song song I hear, like, oh, nope, nope. <laughs> nope, yeah. nope, ain't doing that. Not texting her. Uh, well... Oh. <laughs> you can see me if he's unavailable. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. I wonder if she likes grits. <laughs> I take her, to, take her to get some food. These chicks come to me when all the niggas are on tour. <laughs> <laughs> you check the routing. Check the routing. Be like, no, oh, that makes sense. No, 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 Yo, my shit be lit. <laughs> Soon as he come back, yo, the tour is over. It's quiet. It's quiet out here. I'm like, oh, that's hilarious. Now you don't like podcast, yeah. huh? <laughs> uh, you don't like you don't like niggas that pot it up. Yeah, you don't like Park's Kitchen. <laughs> oh my god, bro, that is fucking hilarious. Who else? Yeah, Who else she says she Eskimo she says she gone for the week, but Drake got seven shows at Madison Square Garden. What's this nigga doing, man? <laughs> Keep my soundtrack. <laughs> Amazing job, job you did there, buddy. Um, what else happened at the Oscars that we need to t- talk about? I think that was about it. Does everyone in Get Out now have like does Lil Rel get credit for that too, mm. or was it just the screenplay? I think it's just the screenplay. I think if it was the Oscar of the year. I think it's like the Grammys. Okay, so he doesn't get a plaque. He might not. <laughs> oh, he probably gets a little certificate like the Grammys. Yeah, yeah. You know, a little paper. One last thing about the Oscars. Why is Joey Lawrence still fine? Excuse me? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I'm confused too. You said what? Who, Joey Lawrence is what? It's still fine. Who is Joey Lawrence a guy? No. Oh, who's Joey Lawrence? Jennifer Lawrence. Who is Joey? Oh, Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, so, I'm thinking Jennifer fan, Lawrence. Fan, fan, fan. Oh, so <laughs> listen, yo, listen, yo, listen. y'all been getting carried away lately, but uh, you said Joey Lawrence is still fine. I'm not talking about fucking Joey uh, Lawrence. Know, That's why know. I said excuse I me, Jennifer uh, Lawrence. That's why I said excuse me. What did you just not say, Joe? I, why am I thinking that her name is Joe? Were they in the same show or something? No, nah, he's a narcissist. Yeah, whatever. When she Isn't got- Joey Lawrence like a Backstreet Boy in sync? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Something like that. That's why I was so fucking confused. Like, excuse me? Wait a minute. What are we talking about right now? Because Joey Lawrence that I remember, I think, is in sync, right? Yeah, one of them. Backstreet yeah, like, Boys. I'm just like, what is 98 Joey Lawrence? Oh, you know what? New now, kid on the now, block. Now, right? Yeah, he's one of those groups. <laughs> now that I'm, I'm, now I remember who Joey Lawrence is. He's a Backstreet Boy, right? No. Or in sync? Joey Lawrence was, uh, wasn't, he the, wasn't he the brother from Blossom? Oh yeah, Joey Lawrence was on one of those shoes. He was uh, shows, he maybe was Silver shows. Spoons or some shit. Because I bought his single by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I you thought, you it, thought was, it was Jennifer. <laughs> 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 Listen, Jennifer Lawrence strutting on stage, being fine still, made me wanted to ask y'all uh, who some of y'all favorite sitcom crushes were because she she was one of mine. What sitcom she was on? Uh, Married with Children. Oh, Kelly Bundy. 
Oh, no, nah, that wasn't Jennifer Lawrence. That Ooh. was, um... But who the fuck is Jennifer Lawrence? <laughs> Jennifer Bruh. Lawrence was in, like, Do we have sleep in the house? I don't even know who the fuck we talking about. Hey, Saint Who the fuck is Jennifer Lawrence? Oh, yeah. Who the fuck is Jennifer Lawrence? Jennifer Lawrence is from, uh, She's from, um, The Hunger <laughs> Games. Yeah, first of all... Shit. Yes, Jennifer Lawrence! She was... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Fuck with you. His rapper list. Oh, oh his cool. rapper list is hilarious. Oh, his R&B list. Dougie Fresh was on there. I can see why it was also. Yeah, but he was like 13 or something. Well, all right. Poor, poor Magic Fresh. probably and, had his. And DJ Khaled. You know, I had a Dougie Fresh other. beef. You had a Dougie Fresh beef. All right. Man, how you had a Dougie Fresh beef? I keep Yo, telling y'all Joe has beef with everybody. I had a Dougie Fresh why? beef. <sighs> because when I was 16 years old. You said you could beatbox better? I went and I did Showtime at the Apollo. That's pretty cool. And cool. I won. Wow, congratulations. Give yourself an air horn. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's pretty good. No, a round of applause. And I won, right? For rapping? For rapping. And then they invited me back. How'd your song go? Uh, I don't remember. Damn. I don't remember. And when they invited me back, I rapped again. But Dougie Fresh was the host. He was hard on you? And I didn't win this time. <laughs> but I think he had a lot to do with why I didn't win. Because when I finished... <laughs> He had nothing it, it to wasn't do. You, right? it was Dougie Fresh. He had nothing to do. The host never. They literally say, Mom. "Make some noise." <laughs> well, no, that's what he said. And then I came out, and I rapped. What was, what was your name? Mouse. Uh, right? I don't know if they said Mouse. Then no, I don't remember. My memory's bad. Uh, yeah, but that's the problem, Maul. He big me up, make some noise for whatever the fuck my name was. And I went out there and rapped. And at that time, this was when I might have been trying to pass out demos and rap it. This was on rap. You ain't yeah, think that's, rappers that's were signing was another rapper. Yeah. And when I finished, <laughs> I think Dougie Fresh, man, that nigga's trash. Get the fuck off the stage. <laughs> oh, you thought the rapper's going to win? Because you watched last week, little James, he's got laughed. Like, whatever he oh, said. Damn. Oh, you yeah, shit, no, Yeah, that's a <laughs> damn, man. So, yeah, Dougie did all that. That's so when did. I walked back out for the dude to make some noise for it, it was nowhere near the same reception I had just received mm. <laughs> just a week ago. <laughs> for the same record. <laughs> Yeah, so I think I gave him some spice at some point. <laughs> you clap back once you got on? Yeah. Like, I Yo, this I... is for Dougie Fresh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thought I wouldn't make it. He thought I wouldn't make he it. Help me back. <laughs> he tried to stop a young oh, king. Shit. Pump me down. <laughs> Parks, <laughs> I'm going to beat your ass. Look at why you beefing with Dougie. Don't, don't take out your Dougie Fresh <laughs> beef on me. <laughs> you brought me down. Uh. But why did Dougie Fresh come up? Come on, that wasn't what we were talking about. Shout out oh, to Dougie Fresh. Shit goes a long way. <laughs> What's this nigga doing, man? You know, more information came to us. After, <laughs> came to we, us? Yeah. More <laughs> information <laughs> found us? Yeah, it found us after we finished recording. You're going to get double blocked. <laughs> You're going to get blocked twice. I wasn't even following Kaylani. All right, well, drop, 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 uh, <clears throat> drop a jam on him. On Kaylani? Yo. On Kaylani? Is that Kaylani? I am recording, so I will talk to you later about contracts. Okay, bye, Kaiser. <laughs> Kaiser's wig looks way different. <laughs> This is a sick nigga, man. Man, that's a sick name to just yell out. I will, t- I will talk contracts. Okay, uh, my Kaiser. Uh, Kevin Lyles. So, Big Sean recently. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Fuck with you. And like me. Yeah. Nigga. Wait, look. Now he's telling, like you, now he's telling you he don't write. And now, nigga. Change code. Yeah. I'm on board. Hey, yo, I'm so sick of y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm on board too, Rory. Yeah, I'm on board. Also, you hate him. <laughs> yeah, you hate him. Joe Burns changed Bunch. clothes last week, so he, <laughs> he, he, that's why he don't like that record. Like, nah, he, you, let me tell you why I don't like that record. When the video came out, niggas had the baggiest button downs. I was like, "This is what you want me to take my jersey off for? Well, a baggy it was a, button it down? Was a baggy jersey? It was a baggy era, though. Nigga. Every, everything was baggy. And then, and then Jay came right back with jerseys on. That so, was the video uh, they had the runway and shit. Defend that mall. What when you, when he came back with he jerseys. made you change clothes and then he put his jersey back on. Yeah, when? he brought back the vintage shit. He had to remind us of our childhood. 
All right, I'm when? <laughs> when was this? Now you don't even remember it. Now yeah, right? I don't remember when he bought. The I know you back. was in OVO then. What you mean? I don't remember when he bought the jerseys. He definitely back. wore a jersey after change clothes. I mean, yeah, you of course you wore jerseys. But Everybody you wore jerseys. No, but you are the person that killed it. Where did he no, because niggas was wearing jerseys every day. I know Everybody. some niggas that had on football one day, basketball the next, baseball the next. Joe had a hockey, football, say, football. If you were Joe, you had a basketball and a football Wait jersey a on at once. Was, don't do that. It was crazy. It was all three. It was every, hockey everyone too. Everyone relax. <laughs> First of all, I have a hockey. The greatest part jersey. about that picture of Joe is his face, though. Like he knew he was wearing some bullshit. <laughs> And then you had the black Yankee hat on to go with a Rockets jersey. Like you was just nasty on the carpet. Like, with the thermal underneath. You thought you was you was ready for a game fight, uh, photo shoot. A cold front. Accept his speech. You, was, you didn't know whether it was hot, cold outside. You didn't know whether the Super Bowl it, championship was on, finals. You ain't know what was going on. You and know, it you, was a Yao Ming jersey. First that. You had a baseball, football, basketball game at 12. <laughs> A shootout at one. <laughs> Joe definitely had the blicky on him. <laughs> Joe like he had the bl- Joe had the blicky. <laughs> Any nigga that wear long sleeve thermal got the blicky on him. <laughs> on the red carpet, he got he's the shooter. He got the blicky for sure. That's a fact. Any nigga with a thermal on the red carpet got the blicky. For real. Yo, let me tell you why this story is even way funnier than you saying it. Because you keep saying red carpet. That shit was right at Cheetah's. <laughs> <laughs> Step in the repeat as a strip club. <laughs> shit goes a long way. No way. Um, Maul has been dying to talk to me about my ensemble. Yes. My state of the culture ensemble. Yes. Very interesting choice. Did you see the shoes on camera or no? Yes. They had the Yankee logo on them? Mm-hmm. I saw every- Tried to clean it up with the Yankee logo. Yeah. That- <laughs> I saw that. Yo, I, I, like- I got to come up there one day. I just need to just walk around and just... Think so? I have to. It's not that much fun. Because yeah. I need to see how he ends up it's wearing, really early. wearing what he's wearing and then like... Oh, you want to be a wardrobe. I just need to see how they lay out Joe's outfits. I need to see who <laughs> does it. I need to ask them why they do it. Mm. And I need to ask Joe why he's comfortable walking on set with that shit on. It's all the shit that Uh-oh. Remy doesn't want to wear. New, new content alert. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the stuff Remy doesn't yeah, want to wear. Soft. It's Hardy too soft. Hardy har har. Very, very I, funny part. I can't parts. believe you walked out there with that outfit. Like I saw pictures of it, but I was like, it's probably not that bad. <laughs> But then, like, I actually turned to it last night and was, like, watching it. The was ankles, it was the ankles the were out there. I wasn't serving them looks. Nah, fam. Nah, that wasn't drip. No, that is serving that looks. That was drop. That's the definition. Like, you look crazy, Joe. I'm not going to lie. Lie. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't lie to you. You got to be honest. Well, I didn't think it looked that crazy. Why was the brim so big? To cover the sun. Like, if you had a fedora on, like, a smaller, I wouldn't have been mad. It's just that was a big fucking hat. He had his fucking B for Bundetta hat on. No, that was the hat. Remember, I'm going to get you sucking when they went to the to the bar <laughs> and all the midgets was under them niggas' hats. <laughs> I, th- I, th- I thought a nigga was going to climb from under Joe's hat. That I was thought he was getting the Halloween hat. spirit, man. That's they, all I thought it was. They called me Jonelle Monet. I called you that. Thanks, Parker. They called you Darkwing Duck. <laughs> I missed that. Yeah, I feel like the internet already kind of solved this. We didn't really need to get into it. Ma- yeah, but Maul was eating Quaker oats. Yeah. He was making, was making Quaker oats I saw the Dutch in his master living one. room. That was pretty good. Oh, yeah, I'm the Dutch, Dutch master, master guy. Yeah. yeah. You're a, You're a I'm, glad, I'm glad you guys get a kick out of all this stuff. Podcast. Breakfast Club is nominated for Best Multicultural Podcast at the iHeart <laughs> Podcast Awards. Yeah, I didn't know that, that they were a podcast. I did. I, I honestly didn't know. Well, you sleep because you're not part of the culture. That's true. Oh, okay. Right. Or or the multicultural podcast okay, world. You're yeah. just not part of it. All right. I learn something new every day. Y'all salty. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all, bro. What, what would you have worn at the, the red carpet? Oh, you know that hat was going to be... All of the bells and whistles was going to be on that hat. <laughs> they would have saw Joe walking the red carpet from a mile away. Yeah, he'd have had the silk little thing on it like he had that his, one His time. hat would have been yeah. his plus one for How sure. How does that hat deal with the wind? It's got to be tough. That shit is windproof. I feel like that might, ca- right that might catch a breeze yeah. and knock you Joe over. You see that, t- that fabric? Sniggy, <laughs> please. Wind? <laughs> that hat is made for the elements. That shit looked like a sail. I wasn't, wasn't sure. My hat's not windproof. Oh, okay. It looked like it. It didn't. Oh. <laughs> 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 what do y'all think they're doing? Wait, what? What?